Urban planners are already thinking of ways to cope with the consequences of such a rise in temperature across Britain. One area that will have to change will be the design of our homes. By 2080, our homes will have to be able to shut out the summer heat, conserve water and use the minimum amount of energy possible. Well, this could be a model for our future living. Beddington Zero Energy Development, also known as BEDZ, is the UK's largest eco-community. It's an experimental setup offering a practical solution to sustainable living. Well, that's what the blurb says, but what's it like to live here? Sue Riddlestone and her family moved in when it was built four years ago. Wow, it's so light and bright and pretty, isn't it? It's fantastic feeling. Well, when we first moved in, um, we thought, wow, this is really fantastic and futuristic. Um, but actually, after a couple of weeks, we just got used to all the various features. Believe it or not, the house doesn't need any central heating or air conditioning. It's all down to the architecture. We've got these very thick walls, right? a bit like a church where you've got these sort of solid constructions so that it keeps fairly cool in the summer mm -hmm. and also keeps the heat in in the winter. The sun floods in through the south-facing conservatories, capturing natural light and heat for the cold winter months. Wow, look at this. I love this sort of futuristic rooftop you've got here. It's fabulous. <laughs> Lining all the roofs are strange-looking vents. They capture the wind to ventilate the homes in the summer. Energy use in our homes accounts for 27% of all carbon emissions in the UK. The aim here is to reduce that down to zero. All the hot water and part of the electricity comes from one central unit on site, fueled by locally sourced wood chippings that would otherwise go to waste. The site has also been designed to save water. The roof is covered with a plant called sedum. Sedum is like a succulent plant. When it rains, it holds the water and stops it all rushing down at once. And then we collect the rainwater in big tanks under the ground and we use that water for flushing the toilets. <laughs> yeah. Bedzed is one of the few housing developments around now that's been designed to suit the climate conditions of the future. But can these ideas be scaled up so that by 2080, whole cities offer sustainable living? To adapt the 22 million homes across the UK would certainly be a major challenge.